Hey everyone, welcome back to Jay is for Justice. My name is Jay, I am your host, and welcome to this week's edition of Watch Along with Jay. Over the next week or so, we're going to be getting into a lot of the Madeline Soto, Stefan Stern, Stefan Stern's parents, etc., etc. As these videos and audios trickle, it trickle out, if you will. So make sure you have your notifications on so you get notifications. And make sure you have them set or all and not personalized because YouTube, it don't like that. So we're going to be getting into um, some of these videos and audios. And I'm putting together pieces as we go. To kind of try to s sort of talk through how this all could have went down. And As always, leave your comments in the comment section below so we can keep the conversation going there. Hit the like button and let's get into it. I feel like I can't breathe. All I keep thinking about is where is she? Is she safe? We filed a missing report. We called the police at like 4.45 uh, yesterday, uh, 4.45 p.m. But she actually went missing early that morning, around between 8.45 and 9 o'clock in the morning she went missing. Um, we had dropped her off close to the school. Um, she wanted to walk the rest of the way. Detectives have determined that Madeline was never dropped off on the morning of February 26th near her school. Instead, we believe she was already dead at the time and that Stefan Stearns moved her body in the early morning hours on that day. We have video evidence that shows Stefan Stearns discarding items in a dumpster in that apartment complex in Kissimmee at 7.35 on Monday, February 26. Detectives later recovered Madeline's backpack and her school-issued laptop from that dumpster. At 8.19, we have evidence that shows Stefan Stearns returning to the complex and Madeline was visible in that vehicle. We believe she was already dead at that time. To kill, and to kill her? No, no, no. I think if I had to, if I had to put forward a guess, I would think that it was accidental. I think that I know it's stupid. I guess I'm Irish, and yes, I've had dreams that are pregnant, precognition. Yes, they come true. But I did have. A hold on, hold on, hold on. She just was telling us that she has dreams that come true, but she accidentally said her dreams are pregnant. Um, we also need to go back and we need to break this down. This is Stefan Stern's mother speaking with investigators and her account is very strange here. And to kill her? No, no, no. I think if I had to, if I had to put forward a guess, I would think that it was accidental. I think that I know it's stupid. I guess I'm Irish. And yes, I've had dreams that are pregnant precognition. Yes, they come true. But I did have a dream. And in that dream, they were in Stefan's room and in Maddie's room. And this is explicit content right here. This is Stefan Stern's mom's dream about what happened to Madeline Soto. Unclothed. Jen came in to wake her up. She was confronted by the fact that they were together in a way they shouldn't have been. And I think a struggle ensued and she either hit her head or broke her neck. Some big claims there. So her his mother's saying that she had a dream. Jen caught Stefan and Maddie in the bedroom together. You heard the rest, and a fight ensued. Now, that leads me to our next segment. I'm going to say around 8 o'clock in the morning, Stefan came into the room and was trying to put the leash on the dog. 
Uh-huh. Uh, somewhere between... I'm going to say somewhere between... He came into the room somewhere between 8 and 8.15. Um, he came in to put the leash on the dog. Uh-huh. And I got up to try to help him because my dog is kind of a nervous dog and I didn't want him to pee on the bed. Uh-huh. Um, so we wrangled him, put him on his leash, and he said, go back to sleep. And I said, okay. So I laid back and went back to sleep. We need to listen to that again. So Stefan comes in the bedroom at 8 or 8.15. She gets up to help him with the leash. They wrangle the dog. And then she gets back into bed. And I didn't want him to pee on the bed. Mm -hmm. Um, So we wrangled him, put him on his leash, and he said, go back to sleep. And I said, okay. So I laid back and went back to sleep. On Monday morning, visually see her? No. Did you hear her? I heard many people in the kitchen. I'm not sure if it was my roommate or her specifically. Okay. Is your roommate a male or a female? Female. Okay. They're both females. When was the last time you physically saw... Wednesday, 11 o'clock. I'm sorry. Sunday, when the, uh, 11 o'clock. Sunday when you sent her to bed. To bed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Another weird catch here. Wednesday at 11 o'clock versus Sunday at 11 o'clock. We know Madeline was staying with her grandmother the week before. Did Jen actually not physically see her since the prior Wednesday? Can that be true? Well, and then when you woke up, you said you woke up briefly because Stefan went in there. Did you go back to sleep? Yes. What time did you get up? Crickets. Let me see if I actually have my alarm set. No, I don't have a specific day on there. Uh, let me check something real quick. I'm pretty sure I woke up around 9 o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. And then I left at 9.30. Um, I- okay, so some more bullshit from Jen Soto. She claims that she helped. She got out of bed, helped with the leash. 8 to 8.15, 8.30-ish. But she leaves the house at 9.30 for her appointment. But she claims she went back to sleep. You're with the French call Les Incompetents. I had an appointment. I had a doctor's appointment at like 10.15. Uh-huh. But they took a while. And then by the time they did my blood work and whatever, I, I think I got home somewhere between 11 and 11.15. Okay. When you got back, was Stefan here? I'm pretty sure he was, yeah. What was he doing? Uh, just sitting Lord in knows. Um, um, at my computer desk on his phone. Oh, at your computer desk on his phone, wiping that iPhone. Oops, I mean, resetting that iPhone. Okay. What did you guys do? We chatted for a little bit. I asked him what had happened because he had called me earlier. Mm-hmm. Uh, what had happened? Ten... Let me see. I don't think there was those. Could have been a gunshot because everybody would have heard it. I think stabbing, you'd have found blood. So that's the only thing I can think. And that then as she would have told Stefan and, mm-hmm. and Mike Green, it's all this is all your fault. You you caused this. This is all your fault. You have to fix it. Whew, that's a lot from Deborah Stern. So she says that, you know, this fight ensued. She believes it was strangling. Because she thinks someone would have heard a gun and a stabbing would have been too bloody. Very graphic of her to even say. But I think she says something here like, um, according to my dream, she kind of tries to correct herself. Take a listen. I think stabbing, you have found blood. So that's the only thing I can think. And that then as she would have told Stefan and, mm-hmm. and Mike Green, it's all, this is all your fault. You, you caused this. This is all your fault. You have to fix it. She would have told Stefan, according to my dream. <laughs> Who thinks that maybe Stefan told his mama, mama, what happened? Mama, mama. I'm going to slow it down in typical Jay style. I'm going to make Deborah Stearns sound like a drunk Deborah Stearns. Just disclaimer. She's not. I'm slowing it down. So here we go. Let's listen to that and see if we can catch that. I would have heard it. I think stabbing, you have found blood. So that's the only thing I can think. And that 
then as she would have told Stefan and, mm -hmm. and Mike Green, it was, it's all, this is all your fault. You, you called this. This is all your fault. You have to fix it. Y'all let me know what you think. We think he's, we think he's being the front person on this and mm -hmm. falling on the sword. That's and, Deborah's. Uh, Jed's definitely complicit in this in some way. That's what we think. So then you believe that Jen would have prioritized your son more than her own daughter? Yes. Yeah. Why? Because she didn't have anybody else. Oh, I think they made a pact. I, I think, well, I think they, they and, and again, decided who was going to look at her. I think they made a pact. What kind of a pact, sir? Hugging him and consoling him at that interview, you know, knowing full well what the truth is. And I think Stefan's decided to be the fall guy in this because he's feeling remorse over the over Sex. the inappropriate relationship he had with with Maddie. And that did I ask him to do that? Since you know, if he's going to be if he's going to be discovered in this, that he's going to be the, the front guy of this. But he she's just as culpable. In, in so because Stefan is out at this point, that he had all these photos, like thousands of photos, videos, etc., of Maddie for years and years and years. So he's going to say he's taken the fall because he's already caught in that. So he's just gonna, he's gonna take the fall for the murder too. I gotta wonder in this photo too, do you guys see those black boxes? They've got some things next to their bed there. It looks like redacted. Strange. Photo credit to the docket, by the way. Let's continue, we're almost done, guys. As he is in this. The other thing is, is that as a mother, I have seen that child cry. You do not fake the sound in his voice, the clogged sinuses that he was dealing with. Mm -hmm. The man was sick. I dropped her off. Everything looked fine when I drove away. So last time we saw her, she was asleep for most of the way. I told her have a good day at school when she got out. I love her. Said thanks, love you too. What was it? This is not normal behavior. She's not the type that would just run off. We don't know where she can be. We're scared. We just want her home. I dropped her off early. I could have waited longer. She looked okay. She was walking towards the school when I saw her. It was like any other day, so I went on with my day. It's hard not to blame myself, but it just keeps coming in waves. This is the reality keeps hitting. We don't know where she is. We don't know if she's safe. We're just scared. We just want her home. I even went out with the cops uh, where I had dropped her off. And we looked all up and down the road, all along the communities, and there was nothing helpful. None of the cameras were pointing the street. Nothing, which in 2024 was surprising. The church across the street had some cameras, and they mentioned seeing her waiting around in the parking lot for a while before moving on, and that was it. But it was greedy. It was greedy footage, and not much, not much else. She got a happy weekend. She just turned 13. She had a 13th birthday party. She was happy that we were all together here. And she was just very happy. She was a happy kid. She's very sweet. She's a very sweet girl. She brings a lot of joy to us. And we just, just not knowing. It's like our whole world is upside down. Not feeling her presence here is sorry. It's hard. Now this motherfucker looks smug to me. I don't see the clogged sinuses, mom, and I don't see any tears. Dry ass Kleenex is what I see. She no. I don't know if she just feels vindicated that, that she took care of it. I don't know, but I know that he's the only one that's feeling any remorse or any sorrow for that child, mm -hmm. and she is not. Going back one second. This is a magnet that I saw was on the refrigerator, and it says, I smell fear on you.
and some cartoon with bunny ears. I thought that was a little bit eerie myself. <laughs> gag me, gag me. I'm so sick of these parents with these entitled children that end up doing these horrific things. But one final note. In Stefan's mom's dream, she said that Maddie could have been strangled. We just found out in the autopsy report that Madeline's cause of death was strangulation. Something to ponder. Did Stefan confide in his mama or was that truly a dream? Let me know what you think in the comment section and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this live stream or video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my latest content. Want to take it a step further? Bring it all in. And, and join our community clickers by becoming a Patreon or a YouTube member. You'll get exclusive access to our Discord server, special channel perks, and much more. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Click, 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 click. It's real easy, man.